two weeks, you know, that's not bad, you know, for a YouTuber with more clout, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I am back. Uh, I just got back from dinner and I am uh, about to do some work and uh, roll out this carpet that I just got. So I originally got like a smaller size and I just feel like I need a bigger size. So I got a bigger size, I returned the other one. Um, and so we'll see if it fits. So hopefully I can get some footage of me rolling that out. Uh, and let me know what you all think in the comments, uh, if it looks kind of weird because I have carpet on my floor already. Um, I just need, I just needed it to have a little pizzazz basically. Um, my mom was like, yeah, I don't think you even need a rug in here because uh, you have carpet already. It looks fine. But I'm like, eh, I want some color. So we'll see how it goes. Let me know what you think. Uh, and then after that, uh, I guess we'll just be chitting and chatting, you know, uh, about what? I try to come up with some ideas in my mind, so we'll see if uh, I stick to that. But uh, I don't know. Whatever comes to me, I guess I'll talk about, you know and waste each other's time together. Uh, but I hope you find it meaningful. I hope I have something enlightening to say. Maybe I'll try to leave like an inspirational word so you don't feel like you just came here and just watched me talk and was just like, okay. Unless you're into that. I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. I gotta get that engagement up. So uh, yeah, uh, I will be back. But until then, I guess I'll see you a little later. I was like going out and doing things and trying to get some work done and so now I finally settled in uh, and am able to talk to you all about what I wanted to talk about which is just some stuff that's been going on in my life some things that I've been thinking about that I'm sure have crossed your mind at some point um, recently or in the past or something that you can relate to hopefully right so I guess the first thing I wanted to talk about was just this journey that I'm having with fitness and not weight really I don't really care honestly the way that my body looks I'm cool with like I've been thin pretty much as long as I can remember um and I'm tall I'm about 5'9 so like I've had this physique and I'm kind of used to it um I know especially in the black community there's a thing about being thicker there was a time for sure that I wanted to be thicker and I definitely would not mind you know being thicker like that's cool I just I guess my thing with weight is always like I never want to go down you know what I mean because I'm already like very small so that's only that's my biggest concern is just not losing weight really uh because that uh, that indicates a problem but I've been thinking about like trying to work out because I was working from home um for a while and I'm getting out a little bit more now um but like of course during COVID 
uh, quarantine times. Let me say quarantine times because I don't know about y'all, but like this whole thing with, oh, the pandemic being over, oh, COVID is still here. Like, I really think it was a mistake. Someone just, did y'all hear that? <laughs> Maybe they're watching a game. Someone just yelled. I thought it was coming from outside, but I think it's coming from upstairs. But anyway, anyway, anyway. So, yeah, pe people are saying, like, COVID isn't a thing anymore. Like, when COVID was going on. Like, no, it's still raging out here. <laughs> like, people are getting COVID left and right. So, like, I think it really does a disservice to people, especially our leaders, who act like COVID isn't still a thing, a big thing that we should be concerned about. It does a disservice to everyone. Like, I think, of course, with people getting vaccinated, the symptoms aren't as bad. Um, me being vaccinated as well. Um, I had COVID last time in August, and the symptoms weren't so bad, but you know. Okay, anyway, that was sidetrack. Anyway, so yeah, I was home a lot, and I wasn't walking to work or anything like that as much. Uh, so I've noticed that, like, my legs are really weak, and my balance sucks. Like, I used to walk to school and to work all the time and so I would you know I'd have pretty sturdy legs like and then I do like yoga on the side or like Zumba and so yeah that's cardio which is probably part of the reason why I've maintained the same weight I wasn't really doing like weights or anything I would just do a lot of cardio but one thing I will say is that it made my legs stronger and I had better balance now it's just like all off and I really don't like that um, I have more leg pain and I just don't feel as stable as I once did or centered I feel like I'm always like kind of tipping to one side or the other and so I was like all right well I want to make my legs strong so I it was suggested to me to try to do like weights so for the past few days I've been doing like some weight workouts and things like that not really cardio as much um, I do do salsa dancing I took that up recently um, like a few months ago and I'm not able to do it now with the place that I used to because of my schedule uh, but I do want to start going to like salsa socials and stuff now that I have like I think I have the basics pretty okay you know um, but I want to get out there and actually salsa dance so that's like my cardio of choice now I'm still like yoga I'll still pop in a Zumba tape uh, and walking has always been my favorite thing um, but I just haven't been doing as much and then plus with the walking I like I started taking um, like the off-brand Claritin uh, because I would get itchy. Like I would walk outside and maybe like sometimes not even a minute in, I would just start itching. And so I think it was like some sort of allergic reaction to maybe pollen outside or something like that. So I would do that. Um, but I just, again, so I wasn't doing that because I would start itching and that's been a problem for years, but it got worse. Um, and so I've been taking the pills and so hopefully that helps, but I really want my legs to be strengthened. And so with this weight stuff, I like it. I, I like weights, like it's cool. And it's like strengthening my lower body. I can already feel it. And it was making me more hungry because I was having a problem with appetite, which contributed to me um, sometimes losing weight, which I said a few minutes ago, I really don't want to do. <laughs> so. It was suggested to me to do the weights and so I've been doing that and so maybe you'll be able to see um, any kind of physical changes with me uh, as we progress with this YouTube thing um, because I definitely plan to keep posting videos and maybe one day I'll talk about it more in length. I feel like the camera is moving or slanting. Let me fix this. Oh my goodness. Okay so yeah um, so that's where I'm at with that and I'm really feeling it. Shout out to um, the YouTuber that I've been watching. I've been watching her for the past few days and it's been kind of motivation. Um, I don't really have a specific goal to gain weight, but like I said, I wouldn't mind. So if I do, 10 pounds seems doable. And okay, importantly, the reason I say 10 pounds is because I think with 10 pounds, I'd still be able to fit at least most of my clothes or even be able to fit them a little better. Um, so that is something that is important to me. Um, which I guess I could talk about that. So I have been trying to make my wardrobe and just the things that I purchase, again, off the suggestion of uh, somebody very close to me, uh, just make it more sustainable and more durable. Uh, thus, it's more expensive. <laughs> so I've been investing more in my clothes. Um, I was a huge, huge thrifter. 
um, but I would thrift so much in each trip and a lot of the stuff was not good quality. Some of the stuff is really good quality, other things not so much. And so it just led to me having like so many clothes. I still have so many clothes, but I've gotten rid of a lot. I want to be able to fit the pieces that I literally have just bought like in the past few months or so um, without my body changing drastically, you know what I mean? So I've been trying to uh, invest in myself in that way. And I, I really enjoy the things that I've bought. Yeah, maybe my bank account doesn't enjoy it, but I, I think it's worth it. So uh, that's another change that I've been making in my life. Something else that I kind of wanted to talk about was just, there's kind of like some things in my personal life that I've been linking together. Um, I've been realizing that perhaps like, okay, I've spent this whole video saying, I like my body, I like my body, I like my body, and I do. Shout out to my mom and dad. Uh, thank you for this. <laughs> but I've always had a thing about what my body could do. And so, and I don't wanna get into specifics too much because it's a little like, I don't know. Oh, this is leaning forward again. Things that my body could do, right? So I talked about the salsa the dance thing. Um, I am, I've always had this thing with dancing where it was always like something that I was uncomfortable with. Like I wasn't comfortable with the way my body looked in that setting. Um, and there's just other things like that too. I've always been like super worried that something terrible would happen to me. Like just rare and random, like my body would just shut down at a young age or something crazy. Cause you know, you hear about stuff like that and it's very rare for young people, but yeah, I always had that fear for like no reason because every time I would go to the doctor, they're like, you look fine. <laughs> so, and it it really messed with my mental health too because I, I'm i an overthinker, I'm a worrier. So like all that stuff will contribute to quality of life. And I feel like it was undue stress on me. It's like almost like, I've also been always a traumatic person too. So it's like stressing me out to the point where my body was feeling effects. I developed headaches. Um, like these terrible headaches um, that I realized that I just needed more sleep and just to worry less. Um, so those fears that I was having actually kind of manifested, uh, perhaps not in the totally dramatic, drastic way that I thought, but my body was, uh, what's the name of that book? The Body Keeps the Score or something like that. My body was keeping the score of me stressing. So that's, that's something that I think that I am finally ready to take to a talk therapist. Uh, not in a way that like, because I've been so blessed. My life has been amazing. I have an amazing family, um, good friendships. Uh, just like, do y'all hear this person yelling? It has to be a game because I don't know what else they could be yelling about. It's like that. If you don't, ignore, ignore, ignore. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, I've just had like, I didn't grow up in any kind of extreme impoverished or like, not to have sympathy for the super rich, but they be going through some weird stuff. So I know, you know, like kids of super rich parents go through that, you know, I wasn't spoiled growing up, but I never wanted for anything. So I've just had really a blessed life. And so, you know, it almost makes you feel kind of guilty for wanting to go to therapy because it's like, well, what could I have to talk about? Like all my problems really are internally and that's always gonna be my issue. It's like internal things that I have to work on, but you need to talk about internal things with other people. And I talk about it with family, but they're not paid therapists. Like they shouldn't have to take on that burden just because I wanna talk about it. So I should go probably to somebody who's getting paid for that. You know what I mean? Um, whose role that is. So I think, you know, and I've talked to talk therapists like before like maybe once or twice, but I've never had a therapist, you know? So even if I just go for a couple sessions, I think it could be useful. Um, and just get somebody's opinion who is not attached to me in any kind of way <laughs> would be like pretty insightful, I think. So I'm gonna try it out. And actually I meant to schedule the appointment before I even got on here and started talking, but I just wanted to get this filming done because I've been putting it off. So right after I do this, I'm gonna go and try to schedule something with someone. Um, fingers crossed that it works. Maybe in the description box, I'll put an update in and say that I was able to do it. 
but I really want to focus on this whole body thing because now that I've been making the connection, it really all comes back to what my body can do and how I'm feeling internally. And of course, like, that means mentally, but like, that's where all my problems, you know, that I've had with myself or insecurities, it all comes back to what my body can do. Not really how I look on the day to day, but more so what I can do. I don't know if you all will get that distinction, but if you do, comment down below. Uh, yeah. So those are the main things that I wanted to talk about. I didn't want to take up too much time and also I didn't want to sit here and talk too much. So uh, those are just some things that are on my mind. I'm sure I could think of others. And if so, if y'all like this, I can come back and talk about some more things. But just thank you for uh, watching every single view and engagement thing that y'all do for me is much appreciated. Uh, I love YouTube, so I want to continue making YouTube videos and uh, interacting with you all. So thank you and have a great day whenever you're watching this. All right, bye.